It's July 11th, 2021. Let's start the update with the raspberry. Here you can see a new well-pollinated raspberry forming. And here's some more fruits that are forming and also are ready to be harvested. Overall, there's a lot of fruits that can be harvested today. And here are some more new fruits forming. And this is the new cane that, that is forming. Hopefully we can see some flower this year. Asparagus is looking about the same. Here you can see another new, um, new plant forming. This one looks quite good. I'm surprised they're still sending out new growth. And these two over here are also um, new growth of the asparagus. These are the purple varieties. Mulberry looks pretty much the same, just more of the new growth from the base of the plants. Grape is still very actively growing. You can see all the new vines getting longer. These needs to be tied up to the um, against the trellis. The blueberry um, doing okay. Here you can see um, more fruits ready to be harvested. but also a lot of fruits that are damaged from the heat wave. And this guy over here is recovering slowly. The green onion still sending out new leaves. Even after I drained the pot, the rhubarb is still not doing too well. Pineapple still looks good. You can see the new leaves are slowly forming. And toward the end of each leaf there are the red coloration. Here's the dahlia. It's also slowly recovering from the heat wave. Here you can see the flower um, buds that have formed. Um, still, still around, so that's good. We'll see some flowers still this year. Here's the rosemary. Um, actually, you can see some new growths forming all over the plants. Like these ones over here are pretty evident. Here's the lavender, um, still flowering. And also, you can see new flowers forming from the plants. Okay, lily is done flowering. Um, the flowers are pretty much all green now. Here's the hydrangea, um, the flowers have turned brown. Here's the tiny bit of flower that survived the heat wave. And fortunately, we still have some new flowers forming from um, the later forming ones. But yeah, we lost pretty much all the flowers this year. And this variety of hydrangea is still doing quite well. You can see these flowers are turning sort of pink and are slowly opening up now. And the most exciting news is the Hoya plants. You can see these um, little growths are definitely flower buds. From the structure you can see those tiny flowers forming from each of the clusters and they have finally started to um, develop a lot faster. Yeah, I'm very excited for these flowers. And this is just to look at the, each of the clusters individually. Just another um, different view of the flower clusters. And here's the other Hoya. This is the Sweetheart Hoya. You can see the newest leaf, the newest set of leaves are a lot bigger than the older ones. And it's still growing and sending out more new leaves. Lastly, we have the Stockholm Fern, um, just to check on how the Schildfrond is doing. Looks like it's getting bigger 